Okay everybody, we're just about to start with what's referred to as finger and palm breathing. Now this is very simple. Firstly, what I'm doing here is stilling myself, relaxing the shoulders, suspending the crown and just resting the backs of the hands lightly on the tops of the thighs and relaxing the fingers. Now as I breathe in, the hands expand. And as I breathe out, the hands relax and soften. And again, breathing in, the hands expand and simultaneously the top of the crown begins to lift up with a very light and sensitive energy. Breathing out, the hands and fingers soften. Breathing in, expanding the hands, big space in between each finger and the next, and then out breath and relax. Breathing in again. And then as the hands empty and we breathe out, let the shoulders relax and drop. Again, breathing in. And breathing out. It's very important not to force the breath with any of these exercises. So if in any way you feel uncomfortable, like the bre your breathing becomes laboured, then simply breathe naturally. Resting the arms now by the sides of the body, and we're going to begin to shimmer the arms. Turning the hands out and in rapidly. Letting the shoulders relax and drop, always the shoulders dropping, unless we're lifting them on purpose. Again, rotating the arms, palms up, palms down, hands in front. The very same feeling, like doggy paddle. Forearms forward and back, relax the wrists and hands and fingers, and then turn the palms, fan the face. Feel the air wafting over the face. And again, out to the sides, open the hands wide. The hands begin to drop slowly and gently to the sides, keeping the head upright. Now, commencing, if you're following this on the screen, commencing with your left arm, as if you're following your own reflection in the mirror. Reaching out to the side as if you're being pulled by the finger and thumb tips. And then the other arm, which is round and up towards the centre line. Opening and expanding the sides of the body and slowly the hand descends. If the breath is initiating the movement, we are breathing in as the arm extends upwards. And then breathing out. And breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. As soon as the hand pushes down, the top of the crown again gently lifts upwards. In breath and up, opening the sides of the body and reaching all the way to the tips of the fingers and thumbs. Now both hands together, extending upwards, turning the palms and pulling apart the clouds and lifting the top of the crown up into the clear space above. Breathing in and breathing out like a great big sigh. Breathing in and breathing out again. In breath.
and out breath. And again, breathing in and up, opening the sides of the body, breathing out, lifting the crown upwards. And one last time, lifting the hands up, pulling apart the clouds, and lifting the top of the crown up into the clear space above. Relax the shoulders. Now turning the arm out and back so the thumb points behind you. Soften and drop the shoulder. Extend the hand a little further and then return it to your side slowly and gently. And again, on the other side, the thumb reaching backwards, so the hand is behind the sides of the body, the shoulder down, and then slowly back to the sides. It's very important when we do this exercise, once the arm is in position, to have the sensation that we're being pulled by the finger and thumb tips. This will create a tugging sensation through the tendons in the arm and can be felt all the way up into the armpit, along the sides of the neck to the base of the skull and right the way through the arms. This is breathing in. Breathe out, soften the shoulder and lengthen your reach. Then breathe in, extend the hand further, breathe out and bring the arm back to the side. Breathing in. Breathing out, soften and drop the shoulder and lengthen the reach. Then breathe in, expand the hand further, breathe out and return the arm to the side of the body. Breathing in. And up. Open the sides of the body, then breathe out and down. Followed by the other arm. Reaching backwards, breathing in and all the way up. Breathing out and allow the arm to return slowly, softly and gently to the side of the body. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out again. Breathing in, and then once again, gentle out breath like a great big sigh. If you notice, the top of my head is constantly with this feeling that the crown is lightly lifting upwards. Breathing in, and breathing out. Both arms together, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. My breathing is rather slow and deep because I've been practicing the exercises for a long time. So here I'd recommend you breathe in, breathe out, let the shoulders relax and drop. Then breathe in, expand the hands further, 
breathe out and return the arms gently to your sides. Breathing in, all the way up, breathing out, and the arms once again return very softly and slowly to the sides of the body. Once again, breathing in, the arms reach backwards, the sternum opens, the ribs open, and out breath gently and down. Breathing in, the thumbs point backwards, the fingertips are lifted, out breath and down. If it's difficult for you to reach the arms high, if you have any discomfort in the shoulders, then make sure that you make the movements a little bit smaller, to the point where you don't feel any discomfort whatsoever. So we're breathing in, and up, out breath gently and down, trying to keep the shoulders as low and relaxed and sunk as possible. And once again, backwards, up, lengthen the sides of the body, shoulders down, out breath and slowly down. Relax your breathing, raise the hands up, The palms pointing towards the face, relax the shoulders, the hands travel down the body, pass the hands over the thighs, over the knees, over the ankles and the feet and the toes, like you're resting a blanket of peace over the lower legs. So this is referred to as bathing the face. We reach up like we're dipping our hands into a pool of water and splash the water upon the face. The hands should be alive and radiant and expressing that radiance to the various parts of the body. Just with natural breathing for now, this is dipping the hands into the water, splashing the water up on the face. Relax the flesh of your scalp and face. Allow the hands to travel down the body. Actively relaxing the flesh of the legs the flesh around the knee joints, the lower legs, the ankles and the feet. And again, reaching up. Soften the flesh of the face. Soften the shoulders. Keeping the crown lifted up. Sending a lovely feeling from the hands to the legs and the feet. Once again, all the way up here. Really soothe the face with the radiance which the hands are expressing. And soothe the legs with those radiant hands. Developing yourself in that peaceful feeling. Now again, all the way up. Reflecting the palms towards the face. Communicating kindly, generously. With a warm, encouraging dialogue to all the parts of the body. Raising the arms up high and now pointing the palms towards the thighs, slowly, softly, gently. Introduce the hands to the legs. Relax the fingers, mould to the contours. And take several breaths, very slowly, gently, natural breaths. 
And with each out breath, release the tension that you observe in your shoulders, in your neck, in your arms and hands, through your hips, through your legs and through your feet. 